We will never be able to harm the Tucson community or any other community ever again. January 8th, mass murderer Jared Loeffner takes responsibility for his actions, sparing his life and sparing survivors the trauma of reliving the horror of that day. But first, survivors convinced the Tucson City Council to take a stand in hopes of keeping anyone else from living or dying in a similar act. Good evening, I'm Guy Ashley. Jennifer Waddell has the night off. The ad says another mass shooting in America, another moment of silence. But will the moment ever end? President Obama. Governor Romney. We demand a plan because 48,000 Americans will be murdered with guns during the next president's term. That's and tonight, hard. they go to the Tucson City Council on their side with a unanimous vote. Not in your sides, Kevin Keene is live with more. Good evening, Guy. It has been an emotionally charged day for the survivors of January 8th. They started it just a few blocks from here at the federal courthouse, and they ended it here at the city council meeting. They came asking mayor and council to adopt this statement, asking for tougher gun laws. They left with unanimous support. Survivors of the January 8th mass shooting stood together in front of city council. Embracing, they spoke of that day and their struggles for change ever since. They said elected officials have not fulfilled promises to reduce gun violence through legislation. Until terrible news broke just in the last weeks from Aurora and earlier this week from Milwaukee, we thought to ourselves, not again. Some may say yet again that it's too soon to talk about fixing our broken gun laws. To those people, I would like to say it is not too soon. It is too late. On this night, they came in support of a measure in front of mayor and council, one that calls on leaders at all levels, from the president to city staff, to act. They're demanding background checks for any person buying a gun at any time. They also want agencies to report people with mental illness to a national background check database. We need to start swimming. People say you're swimming upstream, but at least we're swimming. The civil rights movement had to have a start. The women's movement had to have a start. Patricia Mace kept Jared Loeffner from reloading his gun that dark day. Now she wants other people like Loeffner to never get a gun in the first place. She told me she knows it's not possible to stop everyone, but what kind of impact do you think it, it will have? Um, it, we will never know how many they stop. Um, and obviously will not catch everything. But I don't know, ask. The mother of the six-year-old in the theater in Colorado, in that dark, scary theater that night, if, um, if keeping one child from being murdered, from keeping one mother, from one father, one brother, one sister, you can't put a price on that. Now again, this statement passed this evening, and copies of it will be sent to President Obama, to Governor Ritten Romney, to Arizona's governor, as well as our members of Congress. The group hopes that their recommendations will become law. Live at TCC, Kevin Keene, Kega, not on your side. So what's next for the survivors now? Yeah, the group plans to head back to Washington, D.C., where they have been before pushing for reform. And this time around, they have a meeting set up with U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder. Okay, Kevin, thank you.